Hi guys, Jansen A. Now here, and I just want to do a quick little run through of my MacBook Pro 13 inch. It's a late 2010, it has 8 gigabytes of RAM, 320 gigabyte hard drive, and I've had it for about four months. I'm absolutely loving it. I bought it used, obviously. But um, I just want to kind of show you a little bit of the apps I have installed and what makes it so great to me, in my opinion. So let's get started. If you take five fingers and you um, scroll those in, you can actually access this panel. And this panel will show you kind of all your apps and stuff like that. I had the, all the Mac, Microsoft, like Word, PowerPoint install. Those are great for school. Aperture for editing videos. Um, it comes with, like I said, iMovie and iPhoto is a really great software. A lot of people like it. Uh, Adobe Suits, I have all those. I have iAlert. And iAlert is a great little um, app. It actually allows you to, if you're at somewhere like Starbucks and you want to get up, go to the bathroom, and you don't want to take your Mac with you, you can uh, arm it with iAlert, and if somebody moves it, moves your computer, or touches a button, or unplugs it from the charger, it'll sound an alarm, and they have to type in a password to um, disarm the machine, and it really deters people from kind of messing with your stuff, like if you have to go to school, or you have to leave your leave your computer at home, or whatever you're doing, um, and you can actually arm it when before you leave your computer. Memory clean. Memory Clean uh, allows you to, if you're working and your memory gets low, you can clean your memory, obviously, Memory Clean. But it uh, it keeps your Mac running fast, and sometimes, like I have mine set up where it goes, if it goes so low, it'll already, it will um, clean it for me, like to a certain amount, which is really great. Uh, I have Irisize, Lightroom, I love Lightroom, it's really a lot easier than Photoshop, and sometimes if I'm really having in a rush, I'll use Lightroom, but it's really great, and I wouldn't discount it at all, they're both amazing. Final Cut Pro for editing video, that's a must. Uh, KissMac. KissMac is used for like hacking into Wi-Fi signals that have passwords. If you're working for somewhere like uh, for like a week-long vacation or something, you don't have any Wi-Fi that's available on a free network at least, you can maybe use KissMac to hack into it. Um, it takes about a day to do it, so it's kind of like, that's the only downside of it. It takes like a day to build up the seeds, but once the seeds get about to, uh, about to 500,000, you can actually crack the, um, crack the password. And it's really great for that. Caffeine. Caffeine keeps your Mac running if you're downloading things for a prolonged amount of time and you don't want your Mac to go to sleep. That's also great. Um, let's see if I can slide over here. We have App Cleaner. App Cleaner, if you want to clean your apps, get rid of um, get rid of an app. You can you can delete an app, but you can also delete all the files that go with the app, and that's what App Cleaner does. Um, Virtual DJ Pro, that's awesome. And if you're a DJ, definitely you will have that because you can hook up all your speakers to your computer and everything and run your entire DJ business off of just this program right here. It's really great. Um, that's for making little uh, GIF um, uh, little videos and stuff like that. Uh, let's get out of this. If you look on the back of my desktop here, this is built into my desktop. You can see I can't move it. Um, live Doppler radar. These are 1,800 miles and 600 miles. And uh, this is my little area right here, West Monroe, Louisiana. It shows, it updates every 30 seconds um, from the Weather Channel and shows me kind of a little bit what's going on. I like it. Um, this is all set up through a program called Geek Tools, and Geek Tools, um, you can access it right here, let's see, open preferences, yeah. and uh, that is it right there, I, I customized it and made it perfect for me, but it's all built into the back of the desktop, nobody else has that, it's really great. Um, one of the one of their programs I really love by my computer is Alfred. Alfred's right here, and I have it accessed through double tap command, so I'll double tap command, and you can essentially search for anything in your entire um, computer or um, whatever you want to do and it gets to it so much faster so like if I want to do Photoshop boom Photoshop pulls up it's great I don't have to go down there and find it or go in my applications folder but it was already right there and like Final Cut Pro da -da -da, there it is Final Cut Pro is coming up um, right there as you can see I was editing video for something but uh, let's cancel these um, you can also do things like sleep you want to hit the computer to sleep or shut down. You don't have to go up there to the finder up here and do that. And um, if you want to search something like, I don't know, fun, whatever, it'll open up a new tab and we'll search it for you so you don't have to go up there and open a new tab and things like that. Um, another program that is really great about my computer is I'm running a Parallels desktop which um, allows you to run another program with your Mac software already. And a lot of people tell you, you know, oh, you have a Mac, you can't get the Windows software that I can get, you can't do the Windows things that I can do. Well, maybe not, but if you have Parallels installed like I do, yes, you can. And I, you can access this through, um, like I'm actually doing it through this, this other desktop over here, which is a second desktop. And I can slide four fingers over, 
boom, I have actual Windows 8.1 installed. And uh, you can see the start panel here. I'm not really sure how to operate it yet, as obviously I'm a Mac person. But I have Internet Explorer, and I, ha I can get like all the Windows apps that um, Windows people can get, and they'll work just like they will work on here. Integrate is all my software because obviously I'm still running on the same computer, so I'm going to have all my softwares, all my um, movies, pictures, and stuff like that. Um, let's slide back over. A couple other things I like about my um, Mac, if you scroll down, you can get um, all kinds of apps, stuff like Deer Hunter. I like Deer Hunter. And uh, I wanted to show you uh, Wi Fi Explorer. Wi Fi Explorer allows you to just search um, Wi Fi signals and it will show you where the free Wi Fi networks are and stuff like that and the Wi Fi hotspots. Um, it comes with, like I said, iPhoto, and iPhoto is, I think it's in here somewhere. Um, it allows you to keep all your um, photos there and it's really great for like putting in stuff from on your iPhone to your computer and things like that. Um, basically, that's it. I think that is, I have EOS Utility here and I can show you this one more thing. EOS Utility um, allows me to connect my camera if I'm shooting in a studio and it will uh, display the photos right there and I can check to see if somebody's eyes are closed and things like that. And uh, I love that for photography sense. You can load up all your Canon software on here and it works great. Um, everything's controlled through system preferences. If you slide two fingers over, uh, you can actually access my, there's my email right there. And that your email is here. And I love the email, the ma mail app because if you're like on a photo or whatever, you can just hit share, email, send. And you don't have to go to like Yahoo or Gmail. You don't have to like log in these things. It's just, it sends right there. I, I love that. It's amazing to me. Um, absolutely, like I said, enjoying my Mac. And if you're torn between a Mac and Windows, there's no contest here whatsoever. You can, like I said, install parallel system and that will allow you to have Windows. So if you're going to miss your Windows, you can actually install it on a Mac. And I'm pretty sure you can't install the Mac on a Windows. Um, because that's the entire different system there, but don't worry about missing your Windows. Get Parallels Desktop and learn the Mac because the Mac is it's it's great. It's it's not susceptible to viruses like a Windows computer is, and it's so easy for workflow. I've never had problems with it. Everything runs super fast, and I mean if I'm editing photos or videos, I don't have to worry about anything crashing or going down. It is a workhorse, and I'm absolutely loving this machine. I hope that you will pick one up if you're thinking about it and you're watching this video you you want to see what it's all about. Well, I'm four months in and I'm telling you I've, I'm have still discovering stuff about my computer that blows my mind. Um, loving it so much. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys have a good day.